In the Blues Brothers movie, James Brown plays a preacher, a good guy. But in the eyes of a certain Bishop College music teacher, Brown is anything but a good guy. Larry T. Bird Gordon describes meeting Brown for the first time in 1978. I had some songs, and I asked him would he help me, as most artists do, try to get in the business. And he heard the material, and he said that, well, yeah, I will. You're a very talented young man, but I need the JBs to cut it behind you. Uh, got a message for you. So Brown's band, the JBs, and T-Bird got together in Augusta, Georgia, and this tape is a result. After a few months, the song was on a record. T-Bird's on it playing saxophone, but James Brown is doing the singing. Uh, good God. Brown also took the credit and apparently the money for writing the song. When Judge Barefoot Sanders heard the record and the tape, he awarded T-Bird $66,000 in damages. That was three years ago. Today, Brown came back to explain why he has never paid up. I'm here today because I don't want to be here, but I have to be here because of my wood and my statue, what I stand for as a, as a gentleman, as a humanitarian. Brown didn't want to talk about the lawsuit. T-Bird says Brown claims he can't afford to pay. That's something Brown's cab driver wasn't worried about. No, he told me to wait on him, leave him, made it running, and don't worry about it. We weren't able to produce a record, but we was able to sing some of his music, and uh, he's just like anybody else, he should be paid too. You gonna make it all straight? I'm gonna do all I can to help him, and uh, by the same token, I hope this will help me too. It's just a matter of time when he had to pay, you know. And the time is here? The time is here. And he will pay? He will pay. Brown says he'll be back in May with a lawyer to straighten the whole thing out once and for all. Gary Reeves, Channel 8 News.